the tale of the field mouse and the city mouse. The friendship of a field mouse that grows in the country and a city mouse that lives and grows at home. Once upon a time, a field mouse living in the country and a city mouse living at home became friends. They both loved each other very much. A good friendship was formed between them. The city mouse often visited the field mouse, and they spent time together in the countryside. They could run, jump, roll as much as they wanted. As the days passed, one day the city mouse invited his friend the field mouse to the house where he lived. Come to us tonight. Let me prepare a nice table for you. He said, let your stomach feast a little. The field mouse was very happy at this invitation. He began to dream of the food he would eat. All night he dreamed of cheeses, sweets, cakes. Meanwhile, there is a rush in the house of the city mouse. Various kinds of food and cakes have been prepared. He's been running all day. In the evening, the field mouse got up and came. He looked, the table was filled with various kinds of food. Nothing was missing from the table. They were seated right away. The feast began happily. The field mouse would have a bite of cake first. He just extended his fork, and voices came from outside. The city mouse immediately fled to its hole. Then the field mouse threw himself into the hole with difficulty. Their hearts were pounding with fear. The field mouse asked, Can it be the house cat? The city mouse replied, I think it was his noise. They sat at the table again. But now their joy is gone, they are worried. This time the field mouse extended his fork to the pastry. He was about to put the bite into his mouth, and they heard voices again. Both of them rushed to the hole. The field mouse asked, Could it be people? The city mouse replied, Maybe that's it, I don't know. When the sound stopped, they came out of the hole. City mouse. Sorry. Sometimes such things happen. Let's continue with our meal, he said. Field mouse. That's enough. I don't want to eat in fear, he said. You come to me tomorrow. We may eat bread, but no one can scare us. <laughs>